Three different ways to play Englishman in New York by Sting. The first way is the way I like to play it in bar chords. Don't drink coffee, I take tea, my dear. Like my toast on one side. You can hear it in my accent when I talk. I'm an Englishman in New York. See me walking down Fifth Avenue. Walking can hit by my side. Take it everywhere I walk. I'm an Englishman in New York. Oh, I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien. I'm an Englishman in New York. So you get the idea, right? Or actually, don't forget the middle eight, okay? Modesty, propriety can lead to notoriety. You could end up as the only one. Gentleness, sobriety, in rare in this society. Night of candles brighter than the sun. So they're pretty much all the parts, right? So I was playing E minor, A major. B minor or B minor seven, okay? And you can mix that up as well, so you can play E minor seven, A seven, B minor seven, B minor, whichever you prefer, okay? So that's, with the rhythm, kind of doing this offbeat thing, so I'm, I'm hitting the root on the A string, pluck like a stab, and then I'm palm muting it. Don't have to do it like that. Could make it more reggae if you wanted to do that, okay? Now, the other way I see people playing it. Yeah, I think that's correct. So we've just got an, uh, an E minor seven there. Same principle, right? Hitting the bottom E string and just hitting the top three strings or Top four strings, you see this is like an F shape, to slide it up three frets, okay? Um, and then slide that up again, okay? Again, you, you only have to hit the top three strings, but I am playing the root, which is E, uh, sorry, which is A on the E string, or you could do the open A string. And then, Again, I'm using the thumb for the root on the E at the seventh fret, B minor seven. So the whole thing together would sound like this. You get the idea, right? Or you could add the full on chord, okay? So, um, so again, I'm still doing a B minor seven there, but I'm just putting that octave in it. So that's the second way of playing it, okay? Which I see a lot of people playing electric guitar. I guess it's like comfortable position there. Now the easy way of playing it, or the easier way of playing it, is like this. You could do it in power chords, right? If you can't do bar chords or whatever. But let's be honest, it doesn't sound great, does it, okay? So just E minor, same principle, and then a little mute on the end, okay? That'll keep it in control. You could actually do an A sus two there. And I'm not even doing a full B minor there. I'm just doing like a, a power chord with the octave, three finger power chord. Just add that extra finger on for the minor third. Sounds great, right? Now for the middle eight, D, I've got it up here, my lyrics up here, modesty, propriety, 
can lead to notoriety, A, B minor, again, or you can just do the B power chord. You could end up as the only one, F sharp. Again, anytime you've got a bar chord, you can use a power chord. F sharp or F sharp seven. Uh, gentleness, sobriety, G is A, rare in the society. Now this is the tricky one. A sharp diminished, but it sounds beautiful. It's really easy. It's just first finger, first fret on the A string, second finger, second fret on the D string, third finger, second fret on the B. I'm not playing the bottom E, okay? And it resolves on a B minor or B minor seven, wherever you want to play it, okay? So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button to receive my weekly updates. And please remember, I don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright. But I've set up a PayPal donation button over on my website. Any loose change really helps me out. So thank you very much in advance. I'm also in the process of setting up a bookings area so you can actually book a one-to-one -one with me. I've got a few slots from time to time and I don't mind doing that. So check it out. Any requests, hit me up over on Instagram. I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy.